This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Following the interception, Winston. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they'll get him down up past the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. So the offense has it first and 10. Winston with a give to Martin. Martin flexing the muscle. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, from the safety of our booth, I think it's okay after that run that I call him still the name that maybe he's not too crazy about, the muscle hamster. Yeah, his teammates at Boise State called him that. He, he doesn't like that term. He hates that name. He told us he prefers, and he told the world he prefers Doug or not. There goes Doug Martin. 30. Pass the 20. And he'll take this all the way down to the 15-yard line. It's a big-time run there by Martin. 55 yards. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Winston gives to Martin on the draw. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. And a 10th carry here for Martin. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. On third down, Winston. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Chris Jones in there to get him for a loss of three, and it'll be fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. And his kick is good. And the lead grows to four. It's 13-9. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Here's Hunt. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Oh 
Throwing on third down, Smith. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Robert Ayers in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. I said Here's Smith now on second down. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. William Golston in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. So the sack of Smith, and now the Chiefs coming up facing third and long. Smith setting up the screen for West. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there. And, and no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. William Golston in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Winston gives to the tailback, Martin. And he'll be out of bounds. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They come out here in the eye. They'll run for it with Martin. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Doug Martin taking it in. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. And that's caught inside the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Justin Evans. And now look at him go. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. The swing pass caught, and he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the one. 23 yards on the play. Check, check, check. 
A fresh set of downs, and they're at the... And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Doug Martin tying a career high with his fourth touchdown of the game. And the Bucs capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. They'll try and run it with Martin. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And they're going to strike this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And now here comes Kansas City. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Vernon Hargraves with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Well, this defense... Pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. They start to drive with Martin. And he's got some space here. There goes Doug Martin. He's at the 40, the 20, 10, touchdown, Tampa Bay. Doug Martin, 77 yards. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. And those are the highlight real runs you dream of right there. When he gets a seam and just gets through it, how about the explosiveness, the burst to get there to begin with, and then once he's in full gallop, Good luck trying to track him down. And those plays so demoralizing for the defense. Absolutely, because you've done so much work trying to keep people in front of you. When they're past you and behind you, that's a tough one to swallow. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Robert Ayers getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. To throw on second down is Smith. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he's brought down after a good gain. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Second down following the incompletion. Boy, and now they...